Hi, I'm Matt Cole. Yeah, these are new. Welcome to the Hub Show. In a world quickly filling up with wearable technology, Garmin have just released this Vivo Fit Fitness Band. I like to think of it as a watch on steroids. It's a slimline piece of kit that tracks your activity and nudges you towards a healthier lifestyle. It's got a battery life which lasts for 12 months without charging and is capable of tracking your every move, even when you're asleep. On a typical day at work, it'll greet you with a personalised goal and track your progress. Okay, it's not going to stop you eating that donut or drinking a hot chocolate with cream, but what it will do is let you know when you've been sat in your seat for too long, hopefully inspiring you to a healthier, more active lifestyle. As well as seeing various outputs on the VivoFit itself, you can also upload wirelessly to Garmin's own Connect software, allowing you to analyse and document your progress, share on social networks and enter various challenges. Check out the cool Garmin competition at the end of the show. We can't wait to get our hands on Google Glass when it hits the UK later this year and the prospect has become even more mouth-watering now because Google have partnered with the company that owns Oakley and Ray-Ban in a bid to make the eyewear more stylish. What's your take on all this? Smart watches? Smart eyewear? Will you be joining the smart stuff revolution? We want to hear what you think so please let us know in the comments section below. Shimano has revamped its much-loved 105 Road Group set, borrowing technology from its higher-end Dura-Ace and Altegra Group. Now in 11-speed mode, the new 105 is compatible with hydraulic road disc brakes, thanks to a brand new lever. To coincide with the new 105, Shimano has also released brand new hydraulic road disc brakes, previously only available to those running the DI2 system. The new hydraulic disc brakes should please many of you if you've been looking to upgrade the hydraulic disc brakes but without the big bucks price tag. Are you planning on a cycling holiday or have you been on one in the past? If so, we'd love to hear your essential tips. If you've been road training in Italy or downhilling in the Alps, please let us know your essential tips in the comment section below. The round of the Shimano British Downhill Series took place over the weekend, where Team CRC Nukeproof rider Joe Smith battled it out against some of the best riders in the world in what's now a thriving UK race scene. It was a great start to what's set to be an amazing season of racing, with teams and riders showing off their new bikes and kit in preparation for the first round of the Downhill World Cup in South Africa later this month. Joe put in a good performance despite injuring his wrist during Saturday practice. But the old man on the team, team manager Nigel Page, flew the flag at the top of the podium, winning the veteran class. So there's life in the old dog yet. In the last episode of the show, we gave you the chance to win signed Sam Hill kit. So congratulations, Matthew Connock. If you frame the kit and stick it up on your wall, please send us some pictures. This week we're giving you the chance to win this Garmin VivoFit fitness band as featured earlier on in the show. For your chance to win, simply click the link in the description below. Okay, I'm Matt Cole, that was The Hub Show. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and while you're at it, please subscribe. Don't worry, it's absolutely free. Subscribe now. That was good! That was good! Right, stop laughing! Stop yawning and laughing, man! I'm shapeless. Is that definitely recorded? <laughs> Maybe it's these glasses. Yeah. Leveling. Yeah. Position myself. Yeah. I'm sweating, by the way. Or I could I could put this on the glasses. Too much. Upgrading, not happy again. Step at the podium. <laughs> <laughs>